Hello YouTube, this is Garage Guy 879 coming to you from my little part of Southwest Virginia here today and I'm going to do a quick review of the Smith & Wesson 38 Special Model 107. In my opinion, there's no finer revolver in the world than a Smith & Wesson. Okay. A little history on this uh, revolver here. It was made in 1981, and the 107s, uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, were discontinued in 1991. Uh, I've only got two words for this revolver. It is pure joy. It is the most accurate firearm I have ever shot. Even though it doesn't have adjustable sights, Smith & Wesson was right on the money with this. And, uh, well, as you can see here, got, got the nickel plates. Nickel plate it rather. It's got the wooden walnut grips. Fits like a glove. I got medium sized hands and it's perfect. And even for somebody with larger hands you can still see there's a little bit of space down there you know a person with large hands could handle this easy uh for the cylinder release do a safety check no shells there none in uh here of course none in the barrel uh double single action and it, it's like a knife going through warm butter i mean it is sweet uh, the pull on it, not difficult at all. This gun, it's the best one I've ever fired. Uh, now back to the history of it. Back in uh, near Christmas 1981, my mother has a cousin who's now retired from the uh, Durham, North Carolina Police Department. And back when he was with the force, uh, a member of the force could get two firearms per year at a police discount. So my cousin paid $110 for this, brand new. And that's $1981. I don't know what that amounts out to today, but uh, Dad got it. For Christmas that year he loved it he might have shot I don't know from the time he had it until the time he passed away maybe 200 rounds through it and then after he passed away it was put up in the closet in the box for a pretty long time and I just recently found it back uh, this past winter and I got it out cleaned it up gave it some good oil took it out, fired about 100 rounds through it, and i tell you what, it, it was like uh, like high school, having a crush on a homecoming queen or something like it. If this pistol was a woman, I would buy it flowers and dinner and then ask it out on a second date. That's how much I like this. The sights on it, uh, the rear sight, it's the notch. And then you got the front blade type sights. But like I said, for something like it, this thing is accurate. You get a good aim, you're going to hit what you aim at. Uh, uh, longer distances, I'd say about maybe 25, 30 foot. I aim just a tad high. And I still hit what I aim at. But uh, I tell you. $110. It's hard to tell what it goes for now. I saw uh, one eBay type website where they were selling firearms and this was listed at $600 and they were several people bidding on it. But also, like I was saying, you know, it, it's just a blast to shoot. It's pure joy. And I, I can't think of too many people that's ever said anything bad about a Smith & Wesson revolver. If you got one, 
hang on to it because they are well worth the money. As far as self-defense, this is a really good pistol. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I don't know the dimensions and weights, measurements, and all that stuff on it. But as far as concealed carry, it is a tad wide right there on the cylinder, but it's just heavy enough to where you barely notice it. And when you do fire it, regardless of what kind of rounds you use through it, the recoil is very manageable. I have no problem with it, even with the wooden grip. Uh, you know how a lot of people will shoot a high-powered pistol with a wooden grip and it'll feel like a catcher catching a fastball like it. You know, you're going to have a little sting. This one here, I haven't had that problem with it. But uh, I tell you what, Smith & Wesson, Model 107W, if you can find one and get it reasonable, you better get it because it'll be a good investment. And this is the one I do keep in my nightstand drawer for home defense. Because you hit somebody close up with this, two or three slugs, wherever you hit them at, they're going to stop. Well, this is Garage Guy 879 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave comments. And hopefully I'll be doing a review here within the next week on my next purchase. A uh, Taurus Model 605 Protector Poly. Catch y'all later.